Hello and welcome. This is Anne Margaret. I am reading today an excerpt from the Sylvia Brown and Antoinette May book um, published quite some time ago called The Adventures of a Psychic. Um, the importance of this excerpt, I find that it explained a lot personally as to what I was working through as a major life theme. So I had wanted to share. So bear with me. We will get through. There's actually quite a few of them, quite a bit more than what you would think. So here we go. For a time, Sylvia was very excited by such validations and worked extensively with the Federal Archives and Records Center in San Bruno, California, but now feels that the healing potential of regression offers much more real satisfaction. Not only are many of the lies recalled too ancient to document, but the time involved in this type of research appears wasted when compared to the benefits of the healings themselves. It is really worth the effort to attempt to locate the grave of a teenage temperess who was Edwina Moore in a previous incarnation, when simply determining the cause of her death in that life will cure the fear that had virtually paralyzed these, the entity in this incarnation. One unique conclusion that Sylvia has drawn from her numerous hypnotic regressions is that all entities not only choose to perfect themselves, but they also select a major life theme with which to achieve that perfection. Sometimes they are two or three sub-themes as well. Lately, Sylvia has begun to compare this concept to the choice of a major and a minor in college. Each entity, Sylvia believes, carries that main theme through all its incarnations into a variety of environments and lifestyles. As each entity has a choice of theme, each also decides upon the degree of knowledge it wishes to acquire on that theme. Again, comparisons can be drawn to education. While some people might be quite satisfied to graduate from high school, others would be comfortable with nothing less than a PhD. So just how many are there anyway? She asked Francine. She was even more astonished when Francine responded that there are 45. Now, a quick introduction. Francine is actually Sylvia Brown's spirit guide when she was here on Earth. All right, life themes, activator. The focus here is to perform tasks that others have failed to accomplish. These may be truly gargantuan or quite menial, but the focus is always on getting the job done right. Activators are the turnaround artists or the troubleshooters of the world, the ones who successfully reverse failure. Naturally, these entities are in great demand and so have a tendency to spread themselves too thin. Activators should make every effort to confine their energies to tasks where a genuine opportunity to achieve beneficial change exists. Aesthetic pursuits. Music, drama, crafts, painting, and writing are included in this category. An aesthetic theme is not to be confused with a little flair for one of those enterprises. When an aesthetic theme is present, the entity is driven by his or her innate talent. A need to create manifests itself at a young age and dominates the individual's entire life. If the secondary theme is a complementary one, the entity has a long and productive career. If not, the acclaim and privilege the entity receives only leads to dissipation and often tragedy. The life of Richard Burton is a recent example of this. The agonized existence of Vincent van Gogh reflects a very different but equally tragic application of a conflicting secondary theme. Analyzer. Not only does this entity want to know everything, but how it works and why. Analyzers are afraid they will miss something or that some detail will be overlooked. The rest of us learn from their continuing scrutiny of the most minute detail. These entities thrive in scientific or highly technical settings where their skills are essential. 
in everyday life situations, the challenge is to let go and trust the senses analyzers should, after a discreet analysis of the behavior of others, ask the Holy Spirit for enlightenment to transcend the physical evidence. Banner Career. The first lieutenant of the cause fighter may be found picketing, demonstrating, or possibly lobbying. These entities also fight the battle against injustice. The key to success in achieving this theme is moderation, tact, and discrimination. It is far better for those entities to select one cause and see it through than to scatter their impact among many. Builder. These entities are the cornerstones of society, the unsung heroes and heroines of wars and organizations. Good parents are often builders, enabling their children to go on to march a larger canvas. Gorbachev is an uncharacteristically visible example of this life theme in action. Without these cogs, the wheels would never turn. Yet builders, Sorry, there we go. Yeah, no editing, all is really red <laughs> right from the get go. All right, builders rarely receive credit for the accomplishments made possible by their efforts. They need to keep in mind that not all prizes are won on this plane of existence. Often those who get the credit on earth are not perfecting as rapidly as the builders who help to make their accomplishments possible. Catalyst. Here are the thinkers and innovators, those agents of action who make things happen. Catalysts are the classroom stars whom everyone aspires to be, the ones invited to parties to ensure excitement. Catalysts like Ralph Nader is a prime example here, are essential to society for innovations. Catalysts generally have boundless energy and actually appear to thrive on stress. They must have an arena in which to perform or they become morose and counterproductive. Cause fighter. The number of causes is infinite. Peace, whales, hunger, and so on. And the cause fighter will either be drawn to them or will create more. These entities fulfill an important function by speaking for others who are perhaps too absorbed with their own themes to address social issues. Cause fighters have a tendency toward impulsiveness that can place themselves and others in jeopardy. It is also essential that cause fighters are considered the possibility that the cause itself is minimal compared to their ego involvement. Controller. The challenge for this entity is obvious. Napoleon and Hitler were typical examples of this theme manifested in its most negative sense. The controller feels compelled to not only run the broad overall show, but to dictate to others how they must perform the smallest detail of their lives. In order to perfect, these entities must learn self-control. Emotionality, not only the highs and lows, but every subtle nuance of emotion will be felt by these entities. Frequently, emotionality is a secondary theme of poets and artists. As such, it will indeed enhance creativity while imposing a severe challenge. The recognition of a need for balance is also essential here and is the establishment of self-control. Experiencer. It's not unusual for this entity to go from flower child to bank president to vagabond touring the world in a self-made boat. Experiencers dabble in nearly everything and master many of their pursuits. Howard Hughes is a well-known example. Wealth is merely a byproduct of a multifaceted experience. Good health is essential to an experiencer. It is important not to jeopardize this by excesses. Fallibility. 
these entities appear to be always at the wrong place at the wrong time, for they have entered life with a physical, mental, or emotional handicap. Helen Keller, who, as an infant, contracted a fever that left her deaf and blind, is an example. Her triumph over these handicaps is an aspiration to everyone. It is important for entities with a fallibility theme to remember that they chose this path in order to set example for the rest of us. Follower. Initially, these entities might have preferred to be leaders, but on some level, they decided not to make the necessary commitment. The challenge of the follower is to realize that leadership is impossible without them and so recognize their own importance. Perfection comes from accepting the self-chosen theme and providing the leader with the best support possible. Discrimination is essential here in deciding exactly who and what to follow. Harmony. Balance remains all important to these entities and they will go to any length to maintain it. Their personal sacrifices are admirable up to a point, but the real challenge lies in the acceptance of life's wrinkles. What can't be changed must be adapted and accepted. Healer. Entities with this theme are naturally drawn to some aspect of the healing professions, physical or mental. The good they do is obvious. The only danger is that they can easily become too empathetic. It is essential that those with a healer theme pace themselves so that they avoid burnout. Humanitarian. While cause fighters and banner carriers cry out against wrongs committed by and against mankind, the humanitarian theme takes these entities into the action itself. Humanitarians are too busy bandaging, teaching, holding, building, and so on to have time for protests. Those in this category aren't much concerned with the concept of evil, and they are inclined to excuse mankind for its faults. Since humanitarians rarely stop with family and friends, reaching far beyond to anyone and everyone who touches them, they're in danger of overextending themselves. The challenge for the humanitarian, Sylvia Brown's challenge, is to avoid physical burnout through self-love and nourishment. Infallibility. These entities are born rich, handsome, attractive, witty, and so forth. When we consider that perfection is the universal goal, this theme becomes one of the most challenging. This is often a tendency toward excesses of all kinds. It is almost as though the entity wants to tempt fate. Curiously, there may often be a lack of self-esteem that causes the entity to fear that he or she is not lovable as an individual. The goal here is to truly accept the theme and learn to live with it. Intellectuality. Here is the theme of the professional student, Charles Darwin, who used the knowledge that he acquired through intensive study to experiment, hypothesize, and eventually publish, is an excellent example of one who has perfected this theme. But since knowledge for its own sake is frequently the goal among intellectuals, there is often a danger that the knowledge that has been so ardently sought and painfully acquired will go nowhere. Irritant. Deliberate fault finders, entities with the theme of irritant are essential to the perfection of others. For in their company, we are forced to learn patience and tolerance. Though it's important not to play into the irritant's innate pessimism, we must also be non-judgmental. We must remember that irritants are perfecting their themes so that we can perfect ours through them. 
justice. Many of our founding fathers concerned as they were with fairness and equality are examples of the justice theme in operation. Those with justice as a theme will eagerly give their names when they've witnessed an accident or crime. As admirable as all this sounds, it is essential that these entities use discretion in their choices. Mob violence is another misguided attempt to right a wrong. It is imperative that those with a justice as a theme remain God-centered. Lawfulness. Practicing or teaching law are obvious choices for those entities who are almost obsessed by issued of legality. Some of those entities may also be found serving on governing boards. When it elevated, these sounds, these souls, keep the world safe and balanced but they must always be on guard against the possibility of using their power in a self-serving manner. Leader, those who pursue this theme are controlled and premeditated, rarely innovative. They become leaders in areas that are already established. Their drive is toward success rather than creation. Their challenge is to avoid power trips. Loner. Though often in the vanguard of society, those with the theme of loner invariably pick occupations or situations in which they are in some way isolated. Sylvia, as an example, has recognized this as a secondary theme of her own. Being a psychic has set her apart from others. Loners are generally happy with themselves, but should watch their levels when people come into their space. If each theme recognizes the presence and significance of other themes, the result will be far greater tolerance and understanding in the world and eventually peace. Loser. Entities with the loser theme are extremely negative. Though unlike those with fallibility as a theme, they are born without handicaps. Often they have many good points, but choose to ignore them. Although their theme may resemble that of the irritant in the proclivity for constant criticism, they are different in that they invariably place the blame back on poor me. These entities are prime martyrs moving from one elaborate soap opera to another. Be observing this theme in action. We determine to be more positive. It is important that we not judge the people who have this theme, remembering that their patterns were chosen to enable us to perfect ourselves. Manipulator. This is one of the most powerful themes for manipulators are easily able to control situations as well as people. By viewing people and situations as a chessboard, those with a manipulator theme can move people and circumstance to their advantage as though they were pawns. President Franklin Roosevelt was a prime example of the manipulator in action. When such a person works for the good of others, this theme is elevated to its highest purpose. When the theme is misused, the ultimate goal of the perfection takes a long time to achieve. Passivity. Surprisingly, entities with a passivity theme are actually active, but about nothing. Although they will at times take stands on issues, it is always in a nonviolent manner. Although any extreme is hurtful to the individual, some tension may be needed in order to bring about the perfection of the soul. Patience. The patience theme is clearly one of the most difficult paths to perfection. Those with the theme seem to desire more rapid attainment of perfection than entities with less challenging themes. Often they carry great amounts of guilt when they feel that they have strayed from their goal and become impatient. 
this attitude can lead to self-abasement and sometimes to suppressed anger. These entities must be lenient with themselves for living through the circumstances they have chosen to express this theme in difficult enough. Pawn. The biblical Judas was a classic example of this theme. Whether the means is negative or positive, pawns trigger something of great magnitude into being. We cannot evolve toward universal perfection without the pawn. But those entities who select this theme should preserve the di dignity by only picking worthy causes. Peacemaker. Entities who select the theme of peacemaker are not as pacific as the name implies. Peacemakers are actually pushy in their desire for and pursuit of peace. They work endlessly to stop violence and war, addressing a larger audience than those who've opted for harmony as a theme. Their goal of peace far exceeds an allegiance to one particular group or country. Performance. Those with a performance theme find it highly rewarding, but frequently exhausting. These entities are the true party animals. Some will go into actual entertaining careers, but others will simply be content to entertain in their homes or offices. The challenge here is for those with performance as a theme to combat burnout by looking within, thus acquiring the ability to nourish and entertain themselves. Persecution. This arduous theme is chosen to allow others to grow spiritually. Entities with a persecution theme live their lives in anticipation of the worst, certain that they are being singled out for persecution. Experiencing pleasure can throw them into a panic because they are convinced that somehow they must pay for it. Persecutor. Those with a persecutor theme may range from wife beaters and child abusers to mass murderers. It's difficult to see the purpose of this theme with a single lifespan, but these seeming bad seeds have a self-chosen role to play that enables humankind to evolve toward perfection. Once again, it is imperative that we not attempt to judge the individual. Poverty. The theme of poverty, poverty appears most frequently in third world countries, yet it can be even more of a challenge in affluent societies. Some entities with poverty as a theme may even have all their need to be comfortable and yet feel poor. With progress, the frenzy fades and it is slowly replaced by a sense of bliss as the realization comes that the trappings of this world are transitory things whose importance will quickly pass. Psychic. The theme of psychic is more of a challenge than a gift, at least in the early stages. An entity with this theme is able to hear, see, or sense things in a manner beyond that of a natural sense or perception. Often it comes to those in strict backgrounds with authority figures strive to deny or suppress the gift. Eventually the entity will learn to accept and live with the ability, using it for good in a spiritual, if not professional manner. Sylvia incidentally does not carry this theme. Psychic ability has never been a challenge point in her life. Rejection. This challenging theme manifests itself early with rejection or alienation experienced in childhood. The syndrome accelerates with entry into school and subsequent involvement in relationships. Often these entities are deserted by those they love. Even their own children will adopt surrogate mother or father figures. A pattern can be broken once the entity recognizes what is happening and surrenders the action and the ego involvement to God. Rescuer. One often finds the rescuer working alongside the cause fighter, but when the cause fighter moves on to another cause, 
the rescuer remains to care for the victim, even when the victims have obviously created their own problems. The rescuer is determined to save them. Often in doing so, it is the rescuer who is victimized. An entity with a rescuer theme has a high degree of empathy and can manifest strength for those in need. The theme presents a tough road to travel, but the spiritual rewards are great indeed. Responsibility. Individuals who have chosen the responsibility theme embrace it with fervor rather than obligation and feel guilty if they don't chicken soup everyone who comes into their orbit. The challenge is to decide what is immediate and necessary and then to stand back and allow others to share in the assumption of responsibility. Spirituality. The quest to find a spiritual center may be all encompassing for entities pursuing a spiritual theme. When the full potential of this theme has been reached, these entities are far-sighted, compassionate, and magnanimous, but will still involved in the search. These entities must guard against being narrow and judgmental in their views. Survival. For any number of reasons, real or imagined, life is a constant struggle for those who've selected a survival theme. At their best is a crisis situation. These will take a grin, grim view of the day-to-day -day existence. The obvious challenge here is to lighten up. Temperance. Very probably, the entity with the temperance theme is dealing with an addiction of one kind of an, or another. The challenge here is to avoid extremes. Perhaps the entity has conquered the actual addiction, but is still dealing with the residual feelings about it. The key to combating the fanaticism that often characterizes those with temperance as a theme is moderation, the true meaning of temperance. Tolerance. Entities choosing the tolerance theme must be tolerant about everything. World affairs, relatives, children, politics, and so forth. The burden is so great that they often will only choose one area to tolerate, remaining free from very narrow-minded to all the rest. By recognizing their theme, these entities can meet the challenge and so grow more and more magnanimous. Victims. These entities have chosen to be sacrificial lambs by their example. Dramatically displayed by the media, we are made aware of injustice. Jack Kennedy is an example of one pursuing a victim theme, not merely his means of exit, but his back pain, his family name, and the pressures placed upon him by his parents. Many victims, after having played their part, may choose to rewrite future scripts by altering their masochistic tendencies. Victimizer. People's Temple leader Jim Jones was a prime example of the victimizer theme in action. Within the framework of one's own viewpoint with in life, it is almost impossible to see the full purpose of Jones' manifestation of this theme. Yet it is obvious that many lives, as well as many life themes, interacted with his. In the tapestry of life, Jones' unique role model may be to focus public attention on cult abuses. Warrior. Entities with a warrior theme are fearless risk takers who assume a variety of physical challenges. Many go into some form of military service or law enforcement. With humanitarian as a second theme, they may be particularly effective. Although it is important to temper aggression, it still remains that without warriors, we would be prey to tyrants. Winner. Unlike those entities with infallibility as a theme, 
to whom everything comes easy, winners feel compelled to achieve. They strive to win with great tenacity, often gambling or entering contests. Perennial optimists, they are always certain that the next deal, the next job, even the next marriage will be the best. No sooner has one deal fallen through than they pick themselves up and go on to what they know will be a winning situation. President Eisenhower was a positive example of this theme. As a general, his unfailing optimism was inspiring. As a president, his confidence had a calming effect. The challenge for these entities, which Eisenhower appears to have met, is to take a realistic approach to winning. So unlike some Eastern reincarnationists, Sylvia does not believe that reincarnation endlessly evolves through all eternity. She is certain that it stops for an entity when he or she has learned everything necessary on this planet. Her own current life is her last one here. Sylvia believes, but she stresses that this does not in any way imply perfection on her part. After many lifetimes here, she has learned her earth lessons and will pursue her perfection on the other side, where she will assist some other entity as a spirit guide. <laughs> 